না জানে বেড়ে দিল করিয়া সোনা জানে বেড়ে দিল করিয়া দো Hey YouTube, this is Uncle Momo's music reaction channel where I provide my views on talented artists from around the world, both established artists and non-established artists. And I promise you that you won't be disappointed whatsoever. Now, we are going over to Coach Studio Bangla. And I'm going to check out just latestly uploaded um, season two, Arnob. Good morning. How are you doing, Arnob? Um, Hamida um, Banu. Now, in the description page, in, I'm going to ask you a question as well, Arnob. Also, thank you very much for your messages uh, and your support. So much. It's like, what? Arnob, man. Um, so I'm going to read something out in the description page. It says, um, Dilaram is an emotional, a plea to keep your loved ones close to your heart. Life comprises moments, some of which at times put our hearts to the rest. Test, sorry. There are, um, there are moments we turn to our dilemmas, who appear in a form of conf confidence or inner voices. The great Bangladeshi poet from the 19th century, Harsam um, Raja, pens this emotions in the um, Duro, Duro Dilaram, where in the song he urges Dilaram, his closest companion to hold onto him tight. At times he feels that he is slipping away. The same emotions can be felt in Arnhem's Away, um, Dehor Rakhal, please check it out. A song which that has, a song that was written back in 2019 at the first song to be released by Arnob and friends as part of a world tour um, to raise funds for the underprivileged children organised by, is it Delicy Puff? Uh, in the song, Arnob too calls out to anyone who is ever close to him to stay by his side because at that time, life feels, feels to be struggling. See, because decades apart, the hearts of two musicians sang the same appeal for togetherness because in togetherness, there is real magic. I like that connection. Brilliant. Arnob, you're doing amazing things, mate. Seriously, there's more... Um, to you that meets the eye between you and your wife who incidentally is an amazing artist as well um so look there's a little bit of an insight to that how do i oh no, how do i get in contact with coach studio because i've tried many different kind of ways i'll need to talk to them mate i need to get some kind of deal between me and um, yourself and i man seriously because i know there's abundance um of artists that i would love to react to uh, and do much more so if you can help me in any way please um get in contact with me um i'm you know so anyway, look, without further ado, you know what we're here for. Great vocabs and a damn good video audio music. Can you dig it? Studio Bangla, season two. You never go wrong with the setup of Coke Studio. <laughs> That's how you pronounce it. Dalaram. 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 Something special is about to happen. Dalaram. Did you hear that? And there comes that modern element that just blows your breath. 
sorry, I didn't expect to press pause. I didn't want to press pause, but there's certain things that does, that gives you reason to. So at the beginning, it just made me feel, it just pushed me back in time kind of feeling. Um, I, I don't know what time, it just pushed me to the past. Yeah, if this was a time machine and, and the, this whole setup was a time machine, you just pushed me right into the past. But I'm on a bungee. So as I was going into the past and with every note, she was just pushing me back. And it was wonderful, lovely. It was settling. But it almost made me forget that I was on a bungee. So when I was propelled back up and bringing into and where they was introducing uh, more of a more a modern um, element into it, i.e. The, the drums, the, the the indie kind of vibes, the rock kind ish kind of vibes, it's bring me now back into the present, and now Arnold's coming into it. But yeah, the, in the intro, yeah, you pushed me, you you had me, you know, and and you made me forget exactly where I was. No, forget that I had the, that I was attached to a bungee. <laughs> I didn't even realize that I made the jump. I don't think I jumped. It was more of a push um, to the past, and but I was attached to the bungee. And it's not a case of that you, but you've got the control of it, of the distance, of how far you push me back. It's a lovely roller coaster ride, and we're only like say one minute forty three seconds into it. I'm gonna go back just a little bit. I didn't expect to pause. I really didn't. got a She 
So that was Dilaram, uh, Dilaram, uh, yeah, Dilaram, Dilaram, ah, Dilaram, there you go. <laughs> Arnob, oh my gosh, Haminda Banu, absolutely amazing collaboration. Um, I love the fact, I don't know how many people do this, but, and I say this so many times, look, before you press the play button, please just go into the description page and read, because it does set you up for the, for the performance. Yes, sometimes there is subtitles, like there is brilliant, and sometimes and sometimes there isn't. But when there isn't subtitles, there's still there's still an insight of something that you can grasp onto. And all your sense kicked in. For me, I, 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 and I can honestly say, yes, I will go back and and check um, and go back into this and, and look at this a number of times because there's going to be a whole lot of things that I've missed out. That I didn't capture, but the second, you know, I, I assure you, the second and third and the fourth time, I'll be catching up and looking at things. But this instance, it was more of the what the performance were doing and how it was captivating me. So, like I say, the first quarter, I wasn't even looking at the lyrical content. I, I wasn't. I can tell you right now, there was I was too mesmerized by the actual setting, the performance, the feeling that I got from the individual artists when they were singing. Captivating, am I getting the right pronunciations of these particular words? And then I looked down. And it was even more insightful. I'm not too sure how close the translation was. And I'm sure it wasn't 100% in the translation. We are talking about YouTube translation here. And then I started bouncing down and having that war between how much percentage of myself am I going to present to the uh, subtitles uh, to to the attention of the whole performance? Because you, your eyes do battle, especially when you, you don't understand the language. You want to know more, so you look down. But once you do look down, you are losing certain percentage of eyesight of what's going on. So it was a, a lovely battle um, of that. So now when I go back the th second time and the third time and the fourth time, you know, it, it, was, it will all come together. But right now, what I felt was, um, as well as there was a strong, a strong storyline of a man that just wants to get rid of um, his trials and tribulations of life and just shed away from it and be cleansed. And he's describing that to, to his friends. That's the part that I got to and then went out winning, went out winning, winning because I had to pay, I was paying attention to two amazing artists that demanded their, uh, my attention to them. So I was looking up. Remember when I'm, I'm uh, yes, you can look at things as a whole, um, but when you are, uh, I wouldn't say scrutinizing, but when you're concentrating on everything, there's certain, like I said, there's certain things that may pay less attention. And those was the, the, uh, the subtitles at in and out moments. I said to you before, it was amazing the amount of 
artists that was on there, the musicians that was playing their part in there. And it didn't sound cluttered. It's cluttered. It sounded absolutely amazing. Time and everything. It was just organised really, really well. There was a lot of things to look at. And there's still a lot of things for me to check out. So that's what I'm going to do. So until next time, I salute you. Boom! Oh.